right, what's up guys? Um, I apologize that I look really weird. Um, it looks like I am some little teenager who can't grow a beard. That's because I am. And I'm also wearing a hat, which I don't do very often because my hair looks like garbage and I really need a haircut. So today I'm going to try to fix the Miata's brake squeal. It's really, really bad. It sounds awful. It sounds like the car is just screaming and I can't deal with it anymore. So I'm gonna to try to grease up the brakes and see if that makes a difference, we'll see. I've also done a lot of little things to this car that aren't really like big enough to make a video on, so Patrick from editing is going to explain what he's going to do. All right, so this is me editing. I'm going to go through the video and kind of explain all the small things that I did. So like the first thing um, that I'm showing is in the trunk, when you do a spare tire delete, um, there's this giant hole in the trunk. And yeah, there's a giant hole in the trunk. Um, and it also kind of affects the battery because um, it, it has this kind of wood covering over it. Um, and it kind of rattles around. So what I did was I went to Home Depot um, and then bought a like really cheap piece of plywood. Um, it's pretty light, so it doesn't really add much weight. But, uh, yeah, got that plywood. This is some weird commentary channel now. Uh, so I basically just used the carpet, drew out the wood, and then I learned how to cut wood, which is pretty cool. Um, never really did that before, so my dad showed me how to do that. And sanding it down. Pretty cool. So yeah, I ended up, um, we velcroed the carpet to the wood. Um, and it's a little rough. It's not exactly like the best fit. And you can see the wood a little bit right there. But it's a lot better than it was before. All right, so I got these Delrin door bushings. Um, they were really cheap, and a lot of NA Miatas actually kind of need them for chassis stiffening. For NBs, it's not that big of a deal because it's just a stiffer car. But as you can see, it does actually make a noise difference, and it kind of took out one big rattle that I have, which is really nice. That's good. Um, but yeah, I'd say if you have money, go for it. Like, why not? So my lip has been really messed up. Um, it's just kind of when I first put it on, I didn't really know what I was doing. So it didn't look good. And it was kind of off uh, axis of where it should be. And it was just weird. That was a voice crack. Um, so this is me basically just fixing it, <laughs> fixing my mistake. Um, and it looks it looks so much better now. It's it's unbelievable. Just like that tiny little improvement of the lip is just it's huge. Because it's kind of hard to notice in the videos, but like, you know, there's a lot of rough edges in my car. But you know, when you see it in person, it's like, oh, well, you know, the tape's sticking out on the front lip. So all those little mini issues kind of add up in person, but on video you don't see that much. Yeah, that's how it looks. Um, and I also just kind of like touched up some paint and it looks like the paint is really out of place, but once it dries, it kind of flattens out and it really does blend in. Um, so that actually helps a huge amount and it obviously stops it from rusting, which is another main thing that you want to keep in mind when you own a uh, 13 year old Miata. Wait, 13, 15 year old Miata. I forgot what year it was. Um, yeah, no, I think it's it's a good looking car now. Um, I think it's a really good looking car. But yeah, so interesting little commentary there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go back to Patrick from yesterday, but this was filmed like a week ago. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, I should also say these brakes, um, I, I greased them up. They don't, they still make noise. 
So I actually ordered some new brakes that are coming in today and I'm going to swap those out. Probably not going to make a video about that because they're brake pads. Everyone kind of knows how to swap them. But yeah, um, these are incredibly loud. So fix them. That's good. Um, but yeah, I'll be swapping those out in a sec and it won't be making any noise, which is good. I, I definitely did a less aggressive pad. So cool. There we go. I still maintain that like these quick jacks are the nicest thing if you don't have room for a lift. They're just so good. Just being able to like put you up your car, put it down and like in under 10 seconds is it's pretty nice. All right, so finished up, uh, torqued down all the wheels. All the brakes are hopefully good. We'll see. Um, I'm going to end the video by testing out like a GoPro angle. Um, I haven't used my GoPro in a really long time because it's like five or six years old and it's just like a piece of garbage. But I'm gonna test it out, see if it still works, and yeah, go for a little drive.